I can't play any mini games because I didn't I didn't unlock the f I didn't collect every food and stuff. Play rerun. I guess those are unlocked after you beat the game. That's weird. All right. Well, let's get to the main thing. High tech terror. Yeah, I remember like when I was a kid, I tried to 100% this game, but then every I got like every food item except for like the one in I think it was this level. It's like the you need to capture every single ghost or something, and then on the final boss, the food item would spawn somehow. I've already called Sherman Tech and arranged for us to get on a tour of their facilities. While Freddy, Daphne, and I are taking the tour, Shaggy and Scooby will sneak off and look for... The Rattlers, here we are? No, clues. Specifically, clues well, it is with these two and food. It's like they're, uh... <laughs> it's like they're marijuana or something. Oh, brother. Who needs open word when he got Billabob, though? Mr. Sherman is a busy man. No, and Morgan Freeman. Not that busy. Mr. Sherman, it's an honor. May I introduce my chief scientific officer, Selena Drake. We're currently working on some And Azula, yes. <laughs> we have Azula, the uh, best character in the game right here. It involves low frequency electromagnetic waves. Yes, they're our favorite. <clears throat> well, why don't we start? This isn't a trap at this is not a trap at all whatsoever. Can't be. Wait till we get to her evil laugh stuff. So I vaguely remember this level. I think the first bit is just, it's just all stealth stuff. And random food item, okay. What is it? Barbecue sauce. Nice. There are three doors around here. Which doors do we take? We have billards. We have what looks like a security camera. And what is this over here? Oh, elevator prompt thing. Okay, so security cameras, I assume. I remember the black cop. Not the black cop. The black, uh... <laughs> The black, uh, what do you call it? The black, uh, security guard saying, uh, you two shouldn't be around here. This is a restricted area. Oops. Sorry. Sorry. Please stay in the visitor. Okay, billards it is. Yeah, I, I do remember that. Oh, oh, shoot, shoot. <laughs> this is stealth, right? Oh, cool. He avoided me. So sometimes that guard can actually, like, just get you from, like, even when you're behind the crates, he can just sneak up behind you and get you, which I find really stupid. And somewhere here is the scientist costumes, right? This one's actually in the back of the box cover, too, I think. Yeah. these games do anything this looks like i don't know this looks like a typical racing game on an arcade i'm not sure what these are this looks a little bit like galaga i want to say i'm not sure what this one is up close because I can't, I can't really get the camera that close up this looks like a plant okay <laughs> i do like the little mountainy uh areas over here though i think it's really pretty okay let's uh let's stop admiring the backgrounds oh my god is that a tv yes it's a video screen this is the screen we have whenever we're about to load up a capture card or before we put in an hdmi input it's the best screen okay <laughs> let's get let's get around to this oh okay i guess i'll get left 
Hello there. I'm Mr. Einstein. Scooby's ridiculous hair. It almost looks like the disco from disco hair from the move from uh from movie two. Okay, I remember getting lost a lot at this point as a kid. Computer disc. I don't know when we get done that. Okay, zombies are in this level. That makes sense because the military people, military force of uh, <laughs> the bayou said that they were shipping zombies. So I already forgot what area I came from. I think, yeah, that's that leads back to the entrance. Where does this lead to? Is that a dead end? I have no idea. Oh, never mind. Security cameras are off, so who knows? Oh, that's right back to the entrance. Why was the random security guard over? You know, this level, I will say, is it is a little bit confusing. <laughs> it is really easy to just kind of like loop around. What? <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is why I, I don't remember liking this level very much, because the stupid guards can just get you even when you're, like, hiding perfectly still behind the boxes. I think it's- I mean, maybe it's because I was using the sneaking move and they heard it, I guess. They're not as dumb as the Ocarina of Time guards. Hey, Scooby was just clipping through that box. <laughs> that was incredible. Right. Have a nice day. Good morning, professors. Good morning. I mean, yeah, it's buggy, but there's not like any major sequence breaks, I guess. Except for apparently that one in the bike area, which I was showing earlier today, but I don't really know how far you could get with that. So, did I go? Th I went through that door. I think I have to go through the pool, one, the billiards one. Oh, oof. This is a restricted area. bad idea. <laughs> bad idea without a costume. So this is kind of just more guess and checking, really. It's just, okay, that door didn't work, so let's move on to the next one. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> so being in the corner is not enough? You have to actually, you have to actually sneak? I mean, he might have been the one that made the scientist costumes, after all. He is a big, uh, scientist. He makes microwavable ice cube trays. He's a legend. Alright, so don't back to Billard's Ball area. So I have to actually go to this area, I think. Before I get caught. Oh. Wait. That just brings me back. That's stupid. So I have to go back to the area I haven't been to yet? Or have I, have I not gone to this one? No, this one's fine. I think I was supposed to go through this one because there's a security Can I camera. See your visitor badges? <laughs> like I did, I think we left him in the cafeteria. We did. Wait, don't... Curse you, fat black guy. Fat black person. Okay, so I guess I should go to the only door I haven't gone to yet. Because I've tried every single one. Obviously, Admiral knows where to go, but... Uh, 
We like to figure things out on our own here at the Hearth Streams. At least the costume music is really uh, funky. You can dance to it. Anything I can help with, sir? Everything's groovy. Is it supposed to be this one I'm going through? Yeah, it has to be because there's costumes here. Okay, here we go. Now I found progress. I think. And then I'm supposed to go through here, I believe. No. Oh, maybe this door. Well, I can't help it if everything looks the same. <laughs> uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> wait, wait. Is... Hello, guard. How are you? You're not gonna stop me? Well, I guess this is the... <laughs> area. <Ooh>. What? <laughs> wait. How come this doesn't lead... Glitchy? <laughs> I'm discovering glitches, oh boy. <laughs> this is a restricted area. You're a restricted area. Sorry. You know, up to this point, this game hasn't really been that buggy. might have to start looking up what to do if I can't figure it out, like, from here, because I feel like I'm trying everything I know, but... Yeah, I'm not sure what was up with that. <laughs> you know, I should totally just speed around this game just to glitch hunt. And then I will discover the um, motorcycle bike skip. So then, I w and I will call it a uh, Billy Bob skip. It'll be great. <laughs> I mean, no one really takes this game seriously, so it's maybe. <laughs> Wait, where do I go? <laughs> Let me go- Oh! Oh! I'm supposed to go up here. <laughs> I didn't see those stairs, because they were very, uh... I don't know, they weren't the easiest thing to see in the world. I, I just kept seeing those two other doors. Alright, progress! Hello, sir. What? <laughs> I'm back to where I started. I guess I went the wrong way. <laughs> but that, that looked that looked like I was supposed to go there. <laughs> that looked like that looked right, didn't it? It's weird, because this entire game has been really linear, like, very auto-scroller-feely so far, and then this level is just... confusing. <laughs> I'm also really getting sick of doing this beginning part over and over. Well, because the game, the game showed me I, I completed an objective, right? It showed me I completed the... what is it? Find your way to the elevator part. I guess I went to the wrong door again. I mean, I'll I'll do this over the bike section any day, but still. Well, at least, like, after a while, after you figure it out, it's 
it's basically just trial and error over and over. Uh, okay, now where is the secret staircase? I, oh, it's, it's right next to me. Okay, that's that's where it was. Also, this Scooby looks so weird in, in this. Just gotta say. Because, like, I think the only other thing I remember about this level is literally just the final boss fight and the mini boss fight with the gang. Like, I don't remember the interiors very well. Oh! <laughs> oh. That's that's where I was supposed to go. I, I, why did you put the door there then? They have? Perfect. No, let them go on. We'll take care of it. As we speak, your friends are bringing the Tome of Doom back to its rightful owner. Me. <laughs> oh no! Azulas, why? <laughs> Well, at least there's no stealth sections anymore. It's kind of odd, because, like, Frights didn't, like, literally did nothing with the Fright sections. Or, sorry, the stealth sections. This game does a little more with the stealth sections, but they're really bad. Oh, are we gonna play it? Are we gonna get to play as the robot yet? So, okay, forces... Huh? Oh, is this like- is this supposed to be like a certain order I'm supposed to push these in? Oh, there's like different colors and stuff. Okay, okay. So then I'm supposed to find the hints throughout the level to figure out what the code is? Uh, does this tell me anything? Oh! <laughs> two and one. Okay, so two yellow, one... Is there anything else, though? There's... Oh. Oh, this... Okay. One, two... One, two, two, one. Okay. So one... I, I guess one, two... Two... One. Or was it... Was it yellow for... Okay, I guess this was this. Thank you, Mario Match, for the tip. I don't know why they labeled it numbers, though. I would have personally just <laughs> said green, but... Oh, oh but alright. Is this... Oh, that's just the force field. Oh, no! It's Morgan Freeman! Morgan Freeman's after us! Rudd! I know that's Morgan Freeman because I'm, <laughs> I've seen... I've seen this game's plot twist. I've seen it all. Okay, we need a blue key somewhere. Oh, it's right there. These guys are more accurate shots than the military, which is saying much. The feel when Sherman Tech Security is more accurate at shooting than the military. Oh, this is the part with the robot that controls horribly. I'm excited for this part. <laughs> yeah, but this is a totally different game. This game has a useless tag system, where Scooby is basically the most useful of the two characters, where Shaggy is just kind of there. <laughs> there. So, okay, you need the red key for that. And I know you have to do something with the robot through these rooms. I take it the key's probably in one of the lockers. Scooby -Doo! 
Wait, can I just sit here? Oh, okay, I can. Not too bad. No, uh, I don't like the little maneuvering when you're when you get hit. You can't really defend yourself. Huh? Why does the key not uh, spawn in? Why does the why does the key not why does the key not like just come out of the locker like every other item that usually does in this game? The red locker there. That door is locked. I it doesn't it doesn't say we need a key, so I guess we don't have to enter it. No, 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 no. Is that instant KO, or is it just because like the running animation makes it easier to get hit? Uh, please tell me the key actually stays, uh, collected. Oh, it doesn't, so I have to redo... You have to redo that. Alright. Oh, that's how I use the robot. He, uh... He sure looks, uh, like a friendly robot. I can't do anything with him until I put the card in, though. I remember this robot controlled really badly, so I'm excited to see how badly he controls. <laughs> I am so excited for the badness that's about to come. And don't you have to do this like twice, I think? We flying! As uh, Billy Bob would say. We flying in. We're out. Oh, oh, okay, this is very in birdie control, so right is left and left is up. Okay, this isn't as bad as I remembered, but it's still really weird. So, use the robot to... Use the robot to uh, pinch every uh, ball back in. Funny how the scientists here have to rely on the robots to do this. So, like, if the robots ever turn against the human race, then the humans can't do anything to stop these this steam from coming down. <laughs> do I have to push this again? Because I thought I already got rid of that. Ow. This robot is too slow. And you have to, like, uh, switch it off every, every now and then to... to... Okay. Yay! We saved the day! We're getting some Scooby Snacks. We're not doing that awful robot part anymore, but I think there's still, like, one or two more robot parts left to go. Oh boy, more stealth! He's locked from the other side. Welp. Clearly I need to use the robot to get here, but... Wait, so what was the point of the... What was the point of even having this then if... You know, it's not that hard to get back... I, I don't know. Wait, can I sneak through these or do I have to like go at a angle? I think I can sneak through these. Okay, you can sneak through them, okay. It's a little bit confusing, but I'll take it. Oh no, the robots are after us. No, run away. Oh, even the even the safes. He's after us. He's after my money. 
Okay, that's fun. Tag team, tag team system. <laughs> I don't understand you. So there's there, yeah. There has to be another control panel here. But otherwise, like, no. <laughs> So how did I sneak past that light before if you can't sneak through them? I may never know. Uh, that robot? No, I can't control him. You can only control him with the uh, panel. So sometimes you can clip through the... Uh, sometimes you can clip through the thing and sometimes you can't. Weird. So, where is the control? Oh, it's over there. That's why. Oh, the the can't the it moves. I didn't know that. I didn't know it moved. Or maybe you have to wait for the light to. Um, you know, honestly, this is less frustrating than. Uh, this is honestly less frustrating than the. <laughs> bike section still, so I still I still maintain the bike section is awful. Oh that's why. Oh that's why. That's that's the that's why you need the that's that's what the crawly thing is for. Yes, let's let's leave Shaggy behind and let him die to the robot. So those lights can expand, huh? Oh, <laughs> great. Hey, Copper, dude. We're on the final level, the final frontier, and I'll be honest, this has been pretty awful so far. <laughs> oh, what? What? <laughs> Unless I'm supposed, unless I'm, is there like maybe a switch I missed that I was supposed to press? That's like the only thing I can I can think of. So we already we already did everything we could here, right? Yeah, that's the snack box. Welcome to Harsh Struggles with Puzzles, the stream. Harsh Struggles with Kids Games, the game, the stream. The movie. What, 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 okay. So I knew you were supposed to get in there, but I didn't know how you were supposed to get past the cameras. I guess by just expanding. So what is this? Oh, that just, that just opens the force field. How you doing today, Copper? Making more of that tea uh, you uh, people make? Where did Shaggy go? Oh. <laughs> Look at this. I'm literally spamming A and the guy is like, uh-uh, uh-uh. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. <laughs> this is fun. In the wrong kind of way. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh-uh, you can't do that. Oh, you're supposed to lead the guard to the door. I, I see, I see, I see what you were doing. Clever game. Clever game. I'm over here. I bet you can't come in. Morgan Freeman, why do you do this to me? Or do you have to go further in? 
I'm doing pretty well. I had a, I went to work today, and uh, I don't know. I'm pretty relaxed for the most part. I'm ready to finish this game and not come back. Come back to it. Ha! Take that, Morgan Freeman. And now we can use the robot to presumably move the bucket thing so I can get into costume. Because for some reason, being in a costume doesn't trigger the security system. Uh-huh. So then I have to push this thing back up here. Or do I have to go... Oh, can I push A here? Maybe I can push it further. I thought I could push it sideways. I guess I can't. Maybe I have to just keep going back. Is that as far as I can go? I guess so. I was hoping I can go further than that. Oh, I need Shaggy, right? How did Shaggy even- oh wait, because I left him because I'm a good dog. Good dogs always leave their pals behind. That's my model anyway. I never get sick of these uh, Scooby scientist costumes. Alright, so we got this, we got food, and we got more security systems, I assume. Oh boy, it's zombies. Now, this is what this level is missing. We, we were missing our classic uh, button mashing. We were missing the classic button mashing uh, combat that we needed. Yeah. Why? Mommy wants what? Okay. And now we have this. You know, honestly, the combat has pretty much been the most fun part about this level so far. Well, let's check out these zombies. We'll name him Frankie, we'll name this guy... Uh, looks like a rock band kind of guy. We'll name him Andy and we'll name you... I don't know, we'll name you Steven, I guess. Oh, I remember this part being pretty bad too. You had to go up the stairs for like to get the key or something. You need the key card? Yeah. So we're gonna go up here. Oh no, the Morgan Freeman guy's after us. Oh, right. I forgot. Good controls. Let's go up here. It does not need to be this long-winded just to get on top of the railings. It has been a while since we found a coil. Okay, that's a list. But... I mean, we're not going to see Velma for a while, so it's not going to really be helpful. Oh, maybe I have to be in costume. Maybe I have to be in costume for that scientist dude. Er I mean, it seems like a really bizarre request, but 
Alright. Hi guys. Listen, I really need to take a break. Think you can cover for me? I sure, but great. Here, take my key card. Might take all the time you need. <laughs> Later, dude. Easy peasy. Sometimes nice easy rooms like that really does wonders for you. Eh, should we save? Probably not. Not worth it. Oh, right, right. If these electricity pits were like insta-kill, right? <laughs> I remember being uh, frustrated by that as a kid. Oh, cool. There's a snack box here. Yeah, who needs to save when you got food? Like all over. So, I didn't see anything the robot could be used for here. I guess you can use him to push the, uh, oh, just push the button here. I didn't even know that door was locked. <laughs> oh no, it's the guys that look all exactly the same. Whatever will I do? Here it comes. Raggy, look! Daphne! Fred! Velma! Boy, are we glad to see you guys! Guys? I'm afraid they can't hear you. I'm afraid they can't hear They're you. They're under our control now. Like, what are you saying? My greatest invention. Behold! A mind-altering alpha wave modulator. It's a mind control device. <laughs> so why do we need like zombies and stuff to, for mind control? Soon we will use them to make everyone buy our products. We'll destroy the competition. That is so evil. You're using mind control to control consumer consumerism. And for some reason, they're immune to mind control. I don't understand. I, I don't get it either. <laughs> I'm just going with it. Because they're idiots, they're immune to mind control. <laughs> so, how come Velma, Shaggy, Fred, and Daphne weren't immune to mind control? Scooby, I can kind of buy because, you know, he's a dog, but what was wrong with Shaggy? What? Oh. Oh, yes. I remember this part. Where they go, Jeepers! And the gang shoots us. Must scare Scooby and Shaggy and kill their family and do horrible things to them because we're zombies. Wait, that's insta-kill? Well, that's that that that's that's good to know. So, okay, how many buttons are there? I I don't know if the game told me. I think there's ten, maybe, if I'm remembering right. I know like there's a section you can go upstairs. Although I think their little quotes they say I'll say, oh, three to go. Probably help out. Rikes. I really think there should there should be like a counter or something here. To tell you at least like how many you have left. I mean, I, there's not that many, to be fair, but, you know, it would be nice. Rather than having these little electricity things be insta-kill. Yeah? I'm running. But I don't. I don't click guys. Mm-hmm. 
And that time I failed because parental interruptions. <laughs> oh, great. Ah. Hey, guys. Are you gonna do anything? No? Alright. <laughs> If you're wondering what I said, I basically was asking, like, well, it's for dinner and stuff, pretty much. It's nothing really important. Jeepers! How would you even, like, put that in text? Jeepers! You'd have, like, a bunch of E's. You know, you'd think the, uh, the Azula and the Sherman tech guy would at least fire guns and stuff at us to try to stop us, but no, they're just kind of casually chilling. Uh, I mean, it's easier when you grow, it's easier when you grow up with it, but, I mean, it's not impossible to learn language, it just takes a lot of years of just kind of, like, practicing and, like, learning. Okay, now let's go upstairs. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I was supposed to push the button so I can get up. <sighs> I hate having to constantly come back down here for the clues. Oh, wait, the button... You have a, t you have a time limit on that? Well, okay then. That's news to me. Ha! Ah. Oh, that didn't stop Fred. He's still coming after us. So there's only three more switches. So how come the gang's not being electrocuted by the electricity if it's if if it's like one shotting us? Maybe I'm thinking about this too hard. <laughs> no, no, go away, Fred. Oh, I, I, I guess mind control grants you immunity to, uh, <laughs> I guess mind control grants you immunity to electricity somehow. I counted seven there. We destroyed her mind cold control device. Where are we? Like you guys were mind controlled by that Sherman guy. So, the giant antennas were for amplifying alpha wave modulations. Or in layman's terms, mind control. Ingenious. Enough! Seize them! No. You'll rule Hey, it's that guy who looks like every other employee here. What did you say? I said no. Just who do you think you are? It's Morgan Freeman. That special agent Dinsdale. If you and he's mind. a cop. Jinkies! All this time I thought you were just my local librarian. What? I can't have a second job. <laughs> Travis Sherman, you are under arrest for fraud, conspiracy, and book tampering. I don't understand. Like, is the book overdue? I could pull Gravity Falls and say that it's quite you're under arrest for crime, conspiracy, Agent and breaking our whittle hearts. Land acquisitions at Greenwood <laughs> Development. But he couldn't get a good lead. So he let us have a go at it and kept tabs on us the whole time. Sharp as ever, Miss Dinkley. I'm sorry I had to lead you on like this, but Sherman was just too big to touch without solid evidence. I would have gotten away with it, too. It hadn't been Sherman, free. you fool! You should have let me deal with those kids when I had the chance! <gasps> Azula never gives up. And see, Admiral, this is proof that she's Azula. See, she can firebend. She can firebend fire ghosts. This is. Can Vicky firebend? I don't think so.
Maybe she can buy maybe she can get a flamethrower, but you can't fire bend. It is weak. <laughs> And a little water will do it. So let's look at these clues. I didn't actually find the fifth clue. I think the fifth clue is somewhere in this area. There's a file named Project Alpha on the disk, but it's encrypted. A floppy disk in 2000. We're we're flop. I thought for flash drives pretty much replaced floppy disks in by 2004. This is this is even old technology for 2004 standards. Reminding all employees to turn off their portable radios during Project Alpha tests. Okay, so her name is Selena. I cannot think of the name Selena without thinking of Selena Kyle from Batman, so I'm just going to continue to call her Azula because that's who she is. This is a list of people who have undergone some kind of test. Most are marked successful, but a few are marked serious complications. That's not really helpful. Something really hot must have melted this fire extinguisher. It's unlikely a normal fire would have done such damage. Probably the fire ghost. I don't know, I don't really see the I don't really see how the fire extinguish the burned fire extinguisher is really a clue, but alright. Oh, cool, the electricity in this area is gone. So now we're basically going back going back through these levels backwards. Am I missing something? Oh, maybe I was supposed to go of this. No, that door's locked. Okay, this is the only possible way we can go. So we are. Oh, door's right there. Oh, there's the clue. Wow, conveniently right by where Velma is. All right, Velma, do your thing so we can analyze this clue. All right, Velma, a geographical map of the world. This is a map showing the placement of Sherman Tech's giant antennas throughout North America. This is a map. Okay. So what I don't get is how Velma is able to critically think that to that deep of a level. Like, I don't think she knows much about Sherman Tech's like property values or anything. So. <laughs> It's really interesting that she can come up with like an in-depth analysis like that. I mean, I get she's smart, but I don't know. It, companies don't really have their secrets and stuff like laid out that clearly or easily. Wait, do I have to capture all of these ghosts? Is there like a, is there like a door blocking the way if I can't? Yeah, there is. Okay, so I have to capture. Usually, I try to just avoid having to capture um, the ghosts and stuff if I can, but she's a uh, she's also of uh, what? How old is Velma? Like a fifteen year old, sixteen year old maybe. Wow, that did a lot of damage for like just one uh, fire ghost for for like one bop. I guess the fire ghosts have like a little h higher hit bop. They have a little higher hit rate. Ugh, I, I can't stand these like these movement controls very well. Oh. Wait. One last ghost. I mean, I knew they were all teenagers. I didn't know they were like, I didn't know they were high like uh, teens. So how come I can't always move when these zombies are moving? I don't know. Like sometimes you can move while other things moving. Oh boy, more combat. 
You know, I, I, I was complaining about the lack of combat at the beginning of the level, but I, I see they made it up right here. Out of, uh, out of wisps. Out of skull wisps. Oh, those are the zombies that were locked behind before. That's a nice touch, actually. We can save here, but I don't really see the point of having every a save point like well, uh, well that, I guess that is nice. I don't really see the point of having a save point every part if you can just checkpoint at the next part. I, I guess little kids would get frustrated by this part. I mean, I, I know I got more frustrated at the beginning of the level than I did the uh, this last part of the level. Yeah, I know if you want to get all the food items, you have to. Uh, you have to capture every single ghost, which is a little bit annoying. But... I'm not gonna do that. This part is locked. Oh, no. I don't have to call or do anything. So yeah, this is a... Uh... This is a really riveting gameplay right here. We're literally just catch catching ghosts and zombies. Yay! <laughs> you know they could have actually done like a they could have done like a boss kind of gauntlet thing here, and they could have had like a like the tornadoes and stuff from the other levels, or like the the shadow ghouls from like the first level. They could have had more enemies, enemy variety here uh, instead of just zombies. Well, to be fair, at least it makes sense that they're uh, going out. And yeah, I'm out of wisp, so uh, I know I can find some here, probably. There's a snack box maybe for me here. Wait, this wisp? Where's the? Oh, it's right there now. Wasn't that? Wasn't the wisp thingy right by the lockers in the first time around? When we first went through this area, I, I guess they changed it for. Uh, so I guess that maybe this is a slightly slightly different version of the map with the enemy spawn. To be honest, I'm not really sure how they do, how they do that. I guess maybe it's either they create it's either they create a separate map where the the wisp thingy is there or not. Oh wait, I already went through here. It doesn't really help that half of this place looks almost exactly the same. All right. So, do I have to do that? Probably. Oh, so Scooby has to crawl under here. Dickish enemy placement much? go through this? Wait, do I have to read? No, wait, I, I just came back from there. So I guess it spawns me here. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to, uh, I guess I'm supposed to go through there. Where's the button that lets me push the thing, though? I'm not really sure where this spawned me, TBH. Maybe I'm supposed to go through here. Wait, so do I have to redo all? No, oh, I don't. I guess. No, no, wait. I, I did. I did this before, so I have to redo all the capturing. Oh joy.
Yeah, I guess that was just because I didn't know where it spawned me. Zombie. Ah, zombie. Now we need like an emote for like the Tomb of Doom or something. Okay, there's the radar there. Let, let, let's let's capture him through the wall because this is uh <laughs> this makes sense. Oh, is he actually shoots he actually shoots his little zombie breath stuff uh through the wall. That's interesting. I mean at this one I'm not that surprised about that because I have already done that like several times throughout this game, but Do I have? Okay, I have them now. So then this is the part where I died, right? Yeah. Let's capture the ghost first, because he's probably more annoying. We also don't really have a lot of a whole lot of room to really work with here. Okay, teleport. I will save there just so I don't have to redo the other part. This game, this game really did need a little more time for development. Wait, wait, what did that say? What did that say? Re it said research lab and something else. Research lab, catch the monsters. Okay, there's still a little more monster catching. I was hoping they could, you know, they could have at least made this interesting by maybe having like a mini game gauntlet or something, or like a timer or you know, something a good game developer would do. But uh, maybe that's asking too much. <laughs> so you have to capture the ghost that's also behind the wall that's behind the little locked part? <laughs> uh, okay then. Um, please tell me there's, like, health around here. No, 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 not more zombies. Oh. I am very, like, scared because I don't have, like, health or anything either. Oh, there we go. There we go. Food. Food. Let's, let's gobble as much food as we can. Come on. Come on here. more of these monsters catching so oh I, gu I guess we're done uh, I guess we're done okay oh or not so I guess they couldn't load them any more levels after that so they just kind of separated this this section also into like a zombie catching Part. Uh, 
I didn't see this I didn't see that there was a zombie behind there. Oh, I, I got them both. Okay. I, I guess I got the zombie without realizing it. So where was the door now? It was right. Yeah, it was right there next to the animal. <sighs> More enemy capturing. Come on. Come come on through already. Can you please get to the water already? <sighs> there has to be a way to you have to get close to them, I guess, but... <sighs> Just get in here already. Please get in the water fountain already. Please get in the water fountain so I can capture you. There we go. Good ghost. Good ghost. Who's a good ghost? Who's a good green ghost? Who's a good not call? Who's a good not? Who's a good RNG? Oh, you are. You are. I will admit that green ghost model specifically looks actually pretty good. For uh, uh I, I hate getting I hate getting stuck in this animation because you can't like control anything. And then when you get hit, you're kind of stuck with this animation for a couple minutes. Nope, nope, nope. Alright, please come over to the, uh... Is there a way to get out of this animation? Oh, oh there's, a, there's a snack box right there. There's a snack box right there. That, that'll help me. Okay, I can already tell you this is probably my least favorite level in the game. No doubt about that. I think this level is complete shit. It's a shame too, because this lab actually looks really- this lab- The lab looks cool, but... It- It's a lot to be desired. Like, it's- it's the last level, it's supposed to be hard, but... I think I enjoyed the bayou a little more, even with the bike section, because at least it was kind of fun exploring the other bits of it. But this is just kind of repetitive kill enemies in every single room to advance. Like, the boss fight was alright, the stealth sections were really irritating. Like, I don't know, that kind of is a bar that kind of is a mark of a bad level when it's just unfun. Oh, wait, I'm out of wisps. Ugh. Of course the zombie is near the wisp, so I can't I have to take damage a little I have to take a little bit of damage. Did I capture all the ghosts? Must have. That was the objective, right? Yeah. So, final boss time, I think? Yeah. Here we go, final boss time. Sign of Selena Drake? There she is, up on the roof! <laughs> Let it go, and a Sona Zool laugh. Well, VCRs. 
in 2004. DVDs were new in that in this time. She's completely mad. Well, duh. Prepare to face the Tome of Doom's most powerful spirit. Oh, King of Fire, share my vengeance. More fire bending. And she has a Harry Potter chapter page. <laughs> As her... Okay, so it's just a reskinned. It's that it's that one fat ghost from the from the first level, reskinned into a fire with a fiery thing. All right, and stretched out. Interesting. You guys go and catch the fire ghost's attention. I'll try to reverse the antenna's polarity and make it rain. Hey, those are there's those mountains I was uh there's those mountains I was uh, admiring earlier. Well, at least they're being nice and telling me what to do. It, oh. So obviously I have to get the the guy to shoot fire at the... Ugh, fire at the bushes. Fortunately, it's really hard to avoid. Especially when you're stuck in this, you're stuck with the health you had before. Oh, okay, so the ghost... Is there a point in... Wait, is there any point for me to uh, kill the ghost, though? Because I think he's just going to create more. Does it create more? I guess I can see. Yeah, he does. So there is literally no point for me to even kill the ghost, because he's just going to spawn more anyway. Wait, why is his little like portrait at the bottom orange? I don't really get it. You know, funnily enough, this actually makes it a little easier to easier to get to the back get to the back. Oh no! <sighs> funnily enough, being in that little animation actually makes it easier. Who would have thought? <laughs> Apparently, Velma is a wow. technician too. How smart is this woman? We killed it! Say goodbye to your fire bending. And there's not even a moon to weaken the water benders. There's not even a moon to increase the power of the water and weaken the, f the fire benders. So now he's a white ghost. All right, isn't there a food item that's supposed to spawn here? Oh yeah, this is the easy part. <laughs> Nothing in this level will be nearly as hard anymore. Game over, time. New world record for this IL. Uh, one hour and 30 minutes was this IL, right? For your help. We couldn't have done it without you. Like it wasn't easy, you know. We've been attacked by ghosts, shadows, mummies, zombies. Oh. Would some Scooby Snacks make it all better? Scooby Snacks! Thank you, Morgan Freeman, for your uh, laser immunity, you? <laughs> mind control immunity, Scooby Snacks. Hey, what gives? Hmm, using the Tome of Doom to snatch away snacks. Now that's one for the books. 
Now that's useful. Remind me to buy a book with an extendable, like, ghostly hand so I can steal candy from, like, a store or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even try for the food items. I actually don't even know where they are. I know one of them is supposed to be in the this bo that boss fight, but Roro. So are we gonna see the credits? Here, here comes the credits, guys. I'm really excited for the uh, awesome techno remix this game's gonna have for credits music. So l let's hear it. Best credits ever. 10 out of 10. They, they went above and beyond. They, they didn't even remix. They didn't even have like a techno-y, auto tune -y remix. They just have straight up Scooby-Doo music and a PNG just a picture. I like it. <laughs> Jeff Demet plays them. So who played, uh, what's his name? Peabody. I want to know who played Peabody. I never got, unless he's uncredited. Developed by Artificial Mind and Covement. Ah, those Canadians. Did anyone see who voiced Peabody? Because I think I missed it. All of these people worked on this beautiful game. To be fair, these credits are better than Unmask's credits. Because Unmask's credits is literally just the text... Is literally just like the title screen uh, text boxes with the credits over them. And I think the credits music in that game is literally just the title screen music. He must have been at the top because I did see a bunch of voice actors at the beginning. Don't hold back. And Scooby do is you gonna have this off a Scooby snack something. I, I don't know. <laughs> well, that was a fun uh, game, honestly. Uh, <laughs> I will say I did enjoy the game, like in the beginning. Uh, when I got to the bike section, it, that, that wasn't very fun. Uh, and then this entire level is just <laughs> kind of awful, I'll be honest. But I don't know. I think it's it's worth it's it's worth going through, just just for the cutscenes because the 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 storyline actually is seems to be more the focus for this game compared to Frights. Even though like it it is classic Scooby Doo. There's like stupid bits here and there, but I do like how it's all kind of connected together. I don't know, every Scooby-Doo game has its good points, but... Oh, is it just com is, it, is it just continuously looping? Alright, I'll, I'll just- I'll just get- I'll just get- I'll just get through this. <laughs> I thought it was- I thought it was like- I thought it was just gonna stop, but alright. So, can I now see the, uh... Can I now see the movie stuff? This isn't very organized well. I can see the movie stuff, but only after I beat the game. Alright, so what cutscenes should I see? I should definitely see something in the Billy Bob. Big Phantom, Tim Doom. <laughs> wow, they, re they really have a, uh, <laughs> they, they have a toggle menu for the opening. That's funny. I gotta see something with Billy Bob. Let's see this one. I used to live on a farm here, but then them Walking Dead fellers started showing up, so I had to vacate them premises. But it'll take more than zombies or them Greenwood suits. He's to only make got one up. tooth. I just Greenwood? noticed that. Sure did. Them's the fellers who bought this land. They also be catching them zombies and sending them away in big old army trucks. Anyone for some sandwiches? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Good times. Anyone here? Guys, I finally found you. This is bad. Zombies have attacked the army trucks and Daphne and Fred are in danger. But like we haven't found the Tome of Doom page for zombies yet. You mean like this one? Like exactly like this one. Oh, that's that's how we got the zombie page. I didn't realize we got it during the cutscene when we were at that point. That's interesting. Get us out of here. And then the boss fight for that is basically just zombies and big zombie. Whoop. I don't know, I might see what else I can do in this game. Can I play the mini games or do I do I really have to do I have to collect all the food items to do those? Ah oh, damn, I have to collect all the food items for those. Uh so question. If I go back into the levels, do I have to replay all of them? Do I have to play them from the beginning to get all the food items, or do I have to, or can I just Play. Okay, this is how you replay levels. It's not really organized very well. So if I go through this level... Okay, I th it looks like it takes me back to the beginning of it, I guess. Oh, yeah, it totally does. So I guess, to, I guess if you want to 100% this game and you miss all the food items when you first run through... You literally have to replay the entire level again, collect all the clues and all the food items. Because... I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why. Well, I'm certainly not going to do that. <laughs> I do want to play this beginning section because of this mini game at the beginning of the beginning of this level specifically. This mini game is awesome. <laughs> it's like the perfect representation of Shaggy and Scooby. Wow! Look at all that food. Well, all for me. All for you. <laughs> like this buffet room ain't big enough for the both of us, Scoob. It's time for a chow down showdown. Okay, I'm gonna play Shaggy this time. On my first run, I played as Scooby. So, I, I like this. You just go around running, eating food, and then once you get fat enough, you, you burp. <laughs> and then, just collect more food. <laughs> this is... Now, this is, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about in my Scooby-Doo video games. Is there like a- I, I assume there's like a minigame version of this where you can just get like a high score? I mean, e, at, for the time, like, it was okay because mobile games, didn't, smartphones and stuff didn't really hit off in 2004. I think it was like 2007 when they really started getting like big. Or at least more like... More just kind of like, whoa. Wow, I completely destroyed Sh Jaggy there. Scooby there. Alright, I'm going to be done with this game. Oh, I might call it a stream then. Uh, thanks guys for stopping by. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to be streaming again. I think I'm going to probably take a bit of a break from streaming for a while. And also, Night of Under Frights. I don't think I'll be speedrunning that game for quite a while either. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna probably be um, getting back and focusing on my life. I wanna actually progress in my life. I wanna get another job. I wanna figure out what I can do. And I wanna dedicate a little more time to kinda other projects. I'll probably still be hanging around the Discord and stuff, but I don't know. I think I'm gonna take a bit of a break extended break from streaming for a while <laughs> eh, plus I did get plus I did just get a switch recently and I do want to 
play Smash Bros. at some point, so I'm excited for that. Oh, yeah, and congrats on the, uh, what do you call it, the Black Knight can be Mario Nash. Good stuff. I think if you, if you actually did Black Knight early, you could probably literally just save, like, two minutes right there, but, eh. I mean, hey, you got world record, so that's all that matters. Alright, well, that's all. Um, let's stop and...